Do you think comfort dogs in schools are a good idea? No. Oh, great idea, yeah. No. I had a year seven and wanted to get a rabbit. Like a year rabbit. What is the best thing about being a teacher? I think it's about seeing the kids succeed and seeing what you've, what you've done, kind of how what they've done pay off. Yeah, I think that's the best thing for yeah, 100%. me. Seeing them be ambitious and achieving what they set out to do. Yeah, and especially if you see a kid that's started off who's been a bit reluctant to start off or has had behaviour issues to then become a completely different person and mature, I think that's a big thing seeing and as you, well. You really do get to see a change them grow. in yeah. character. And how much, like, yeah. We teach them for a few years, like yeah. teach them in year seven, then see them in year 11 or whatever. Yeah. See how much they mature, see them yeah. Like year 10s when I first started, now I've like, finished year 13. Yeah. You think, you have literally grown up so much, you've done this, you've done this. Yeah. What classroom gadget needs inventing? <sighs> Things like this, the kids are always gone about like how a, could a teacher, I mean, could a robot replace the teachers? So it's not a gadget, is it? But like an actual robot like teacher? Like, like could, some AI or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like robo teacher would be amazing though. Yeah, teacher, I don't think a robot could do it. Do you reckon? Well, no, because you've got to be programmed to ask certain questions. Well, if a kid asks it a certain question. Yeah, it's about programming. How does TESS help you do your day-to-day -day job? I got a lot of resources from TESS. Mm. So like um, when I'm looking for like a game or a quiz or even just like a PowerPoint to help me, um, I use TESS quite a lot. It's always nice to see what well, like other people how I've put the thing across. Yeah. Like if you're struggling for an idea, think how about what's like the best way to teach this? I use it quite a lot. You see like, someone else has done it in this way, think yeah, I can use that. Even like if you're not for using revision, it re uh, revision lessons, yeah. like for year 11 revision lessons, they're quite good as well. Oh. Even for like jobs as well, tests quite good for jobs. Yeah, it's always good to keep your eye out. Yeah, what's going on there. I think um, one thing I've noticed is because I follow all of Tess's Twitter stuff, and a lot of teachers are, are putting out blogs and stories about their teaching and their experience mm. in teaching, and it keeps you abreast of what's happening actually happening in teaching yeah, and now. Yeah, see people because like I say when they, they tag the Tess in, and obviously you see it coming down and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. Just see how all the people have done things and stuff like that. And it's the reactions to it as well from other teachers and it's just nice to know that there's a community that all are thinking the same thing and feeling the same thing as well. It makes you feel like you're part of something as well. The school gives you a million pounds to spend. What do you do? Oh! Well, it's all the classrooms. So we've got teachers. Yeah, we done. Yeah, true. What else? Swimming pool. Mm, gym. Yeah, you would definitely have a gym. gym. I'd be in that gym, yeah. What is your proudest moment in teaching? Oh, that's a hard one. I think things like that, it's just when you get recognition from parent or anyone yeah. about how like, the hard work that you do is kind of being appreciated. Yeah. Because I feel like, like everyone does, you, you do loads of work all the time and it just goes like, under the radar, mm. like, all the extra stuff. Like I know I've taken my time out and spoke to that parents when I'm at home and stuff. And when just they say, like, thank you, or like, I can send an email to the head teacher saying thank you for your work, that's, it's nice to do. So it's not like yeah. necessarily like a specific moment, but when you get something like that, that's just nice. I it? think that's the thing you don't really get you think you don't get much recognition um, from especially like head teachers and stuff. No, because they, no, because you don't really see them that much. Yeah. But you you hear like little things from them. Like when I went for my interview for the head of, uh, head of marketing, they went, um, give us one thing that you've gone over above this year. And I mentioned the work I've done with the year 11s and intervention after school, that sort of stuff. And they said, yeah, we know. We know you don't go to sleep until work's done. So even though they're not directly saying like, thank you, mm. it's nice that they actually are aware what you actually do. Do you think comfort dogs in schools are a good idea? Oh, no. Great idea, yeah. No. I had a year seven and wanted to get a rabbit. Like a year rabbit. It got ridiculed. Did I it? Think a dog. I don't, I'm sure it's a school in one of our trusts. Like, it's like the caretaker's dog or something. He just comes in, comes in like, yeah. does his rounds with him. Yeah. And obviously everyone just loves it and stuff. That just distracts the whole kid from work. Oh, yeah, but it's like a long time or something. I think it adds to the working environment though. If it becomes part of like almost like the school family, is there something quite nice about that, I think? Mm. It depends on like, like the kids that obviously aren't accessing whatever. Yeah. Then to get that dog in there to get them to wherever it might be. Yeah. I think it's really. Like, I think it just distracts them. Just don't think. It. Who is your favourite fictional teacher? Fictional teacher. See, most people would say Harry Potter, wouldn't they? I'd say Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, but he's not a teacher. Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> yeah, he taught Luke how to like. Well, more like Yoda. Oh yeah. Young one on Butterworth. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Very much. Young one, you're on